guys thank you for watching edupedia world videos in this session of SAP business one uh, we'll be just looking over business partner so we'll be going through some of the tabs that will be useful for your understanding of a business partner and how business partner master data can be either updated or uh, can be added or maintained within SAP business one so this is the basic or the, the window that opens up when you click over business partner master data and by the way business partner master data is a module that you find in SAP and uh, business partner master data is the screen that you find in the business partner module within the SAP so you can use this window to add new business partner display and edit the business partner records that are already there and you can open this window you can choose from business partner and as I said that business partner master data will be a menu that you will find within the module so when this window opens it opens in the find mode so which lets you search for business partners if you want to search if you are already on a business partner and you want to update anything say telephone number or mobile number say maybe in payment terms or addresses you can update those things and uh, then you will be good to go so let's see further so this is an active screen we were before in this screen we were in the fine mode but here we are selected or we have rather selected one of the business partner and by the way business partner contains both your customers and vendors okay so business partner is basically the business person or the business company that you are dealing with you are either selling to them or buying from them so that is the business partner that you understand so you can use this general tab here to update the information about the business partner you have telephone number two telephone numbers and one mobile phone number fax email website and other communication detail of the business partner you have a shipping type where you can specify a shipping type for business partner this shipping type will be displayed in every new document that will be created for this business partner like say sales order or delivery or in case of vendor when you create a purchase order or a grpo you can even specify password and other things as well if uh, there is a project that is associated with this business partner you can mention that project here if there is an industry say chemical or manufacturing automobile or other things so you can just mention them in the industry itself then you have sales employee and buyer for this particular business partner where you can mention and other things as well okay then here down you have an inactive radio button where you can press on and you can make it inactive or on advanced where you can define the range of being active or inactive either wise okay now before we move towards payment terms let us go towards the header you have your code the name foreign name you want to give you have a group you can give currency it can be all currency or a specific currency and then you have account balances if you remember in our previous sessions we have seen this window and when you click on this small bar here it opens up all the account balances and shows what they have purchased what they have to give and uh, whatever is due or whatever has been paid so this shows the history now coming back to the payment terms you can use this tab to specify the business partner payment terms which determines the due date of invoice related to this business partner now in this business partner tab you have different option you can select the preferred payment terms or if you want to define a new one you can define it now there is a price list price list can be linked to the selected payment terms or if required you can select a different price list as well item prices in sales and purchasing document that can be automatically or that are automatically taken from the prices selected in the field therefore whenever a user links a certain price list to a specific business partner he makes sure that the items 
prices are defined in the price list. Otherwise, if they are not defined, then no price will be displayed for the item in the documents that will be related to this business partner. Now you have another field as total discount percentage. Total discount can be linked to a selected payment term. If required, you can enter a different value as well. Now there are three limits like credit limit, commitment limit and dunning term. Dunning term is not actually a limit but it's a time period or it's kind of a reminder that you send to the business partner. So the credit limit can be linked to the selected business partner with a selected payment term. If required you can enter a different value as well and commitment limit can be linked in the same manner. And on the right hand side you have other options where you can give credit card type, its number, expiration date and other things. All right. Now in the business partner bank, you can directly select the things or you can select your business partner bank and give the bank name. It will automatically come and uh, you have to maintain these things in a separate section or a separate window. All right. Now we are on the payment run tab. You have a couple of options here house bank payment methods and you have some check boxes here so house bank which comprises of your country the bank the account number the branch and other important like ibn or swift code so you have all these things so from the drop down list you can select your house bank link the account that you want to use for this business partner now payment methods when you will talk about this thing we can see that the customer can have all the income and payment methods vendors can also have the outgoing payment methods now coming to the next tab which is also important that is contact person you can see that we can define new contact persons and just give their information like mobile number their title and other things and we have contact person as Sara so if you want to edit these things you can edit so you can use this tab basically to add and update details about the business partner or contact persons the list of the contact persons defined for this business partner will be displayed at the side of the tab and the details of the selected contact persons are displayed in the respective field so suppose if there is another contact person say Bob and if I click on Bob then all the information displayed on the right hand side in this area will be displayed for Bob all right now next is the addresses you have pay to and ship to address you can use this tab to define business partner addresses which are used as default billing or paying and shipping addresses for various documents within SAP business one these documents can be GRPO or delivery or invoices or anything so for vendors you can define as pay to and ship to address as required for customer you can define as bill to and ship to address and you can have multiple bill to multiple ship to business address also and also when you see this small arrow small button here when you click this thing upon when you click on this small button so what it will do it will copy this address that is bill to address to ship to address this can be done when the customer or the vendor has same addresses that can are being used all right so that is it for this session in the next session we will learn more about sap business one thank you